the six years. Favorite teacher? Oh. To have your favorite teacher catchphrase, I'd have to listen to the teachers over the course of the last six years here, and I kind of haven't. My favorite teacher catchphrase has to be quid by James Keating. Quid is he done? Miss Collins likes to say we're talking about manners. Yeah. Talking about manners, talking about respect, and talking about police. Miss Collins. Talking about manners, respect, and we're talking about leading. Talking about respect, talking about manners, and talking about the leading certificates. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Put it in the jewelry box. Put the jewelry in the jewelry box, lads. Put it in the jewelry box. Are you fair, are you? Miss Mac, and the list of the D is equal to X. 2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. My favourite catchphrase is probably the ever famous. No hawks! By Miss Marie. Mr. Keating wants to say Miss Anne. Mr. Sheehan's, what are you doing in PE? What are you doing? <laughs> More like this. Yeah, that one. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? There's a coral glow. We're back in the first year, she's like, It's a little bit. It's very neat. Every time we start a new topic, she's like, Oh, Lord, you're gonna love this one. It's a lovely chapter. But you can leave it out if you don't want to, because I didn't do it right. It didn't come off by the sloppy. Miss Malone. Cunis. Cunis. I'm the man. Deal. Mr. Sheedy always audits. He tells you something is right, even though it's wrong, but he's kind of like, Oh, well, yeah, you could say that. No, sir, it's just wrong. Please don't put that in. Get your hands off that radiator or else I'll handcuff you. Sorry, Miss Mac. If you're watching. Probably Mr. Ray. She, she gets it. For me, it'd have to be Mr. Reese. Anyone who has a patient, teach me how to draw up. Like, seriously. Probably Mr. Reese. Oh no, Mr. Reese. I'm gonna say Mr. Reese. I don't think he taught me, I think he coached me. <laughs> Reese definitely. Reese is, yeah, he's like, he's a life, he's, 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 he's a life coach. He's, he does, he teaches you everything besides DCG or engineering. <laughs> I haven't a lot of confidence left after Miss Hodden, you know, it's just every time I say something in that class. Daily, she writes it out. Daily. Right, we love Mr. Now. Sheen, we give a bit of a hard time. Oh, Mr. Sheen. <laughs> we love you really. <laughs> Miss Max gave me a day at all. <laughs> um, for Max. Um, Mr. Keating teaches us valuable life lessons. <laughs> like that character trick yeah. we did in maths that time. And that no one actually learned the other way. Yeah. Mr. Keating, because he last year when we used to all be all pessimistic in maths, he kind of gave us the talk about being optimistic, and now we all love maths and everything. Love it. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Miss Barrett, like, really helped me with my maths and inspired me, like, basically. Miss <laughs> um, Lenahan. Miss Lenahan, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Legend. Yeah. I think Miss Lenahan is also really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She gives like really good advice and stuff. So I think it's really worthwhile. Good teachers have been like Miss Lenahan. Miss Lenahan, Mr. Dryden. They're always here. Yeah. They have a way of teaching that you're in class and you don't realise. They're actually. They don't have to book out their guys, read this, read that. Like, they can just teach. By just talking to you and they're exactly you don't even realize you're yeah. Yeah. Definitely Mr. Dryden as well. Only for his bank there. I don't know how it's stick them accounting days. Double accounting. I don't know how we've done it. I hate to say it, Mr. Sheehy. Yeah. He just like pumps you, get like 
as much as he's like. Why? You hate to say. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Sheehy and his seven hours study. <laughs> <laughs> scary. Yeah, that was great in six hours. <laughs> Mr. Sheehy. Mr. Sheehy is a legend. He's so much practice here. As geography class, I think we really put his teaching methods to the test, but he's great crack. Well, Mr. Sheehy and Mr. Vaughan are very inspiring because they've inspired us to take up yoga and Pilates. Yeah. Because they're very good for us, apparently. And they both do them, so. That'd be that, was that was highly inspiring. inspiring. Mr. Sheehy? Um, no, that's it. Do you like Mr. Sheehy? <laughs> Next question. Uh, in first year, we thought we'd go outside with our school bags and our lawn to like start, first day, yeah. start around in a circle out on the lawn and everyone was passing by and passing it off. First the first year Christmas concert. Oh, that was it. Just like our talk about it. Yeah. 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 We're on the beach. Dad yard dancing in that one. <laughs> I, I said I had to do the drawing and I was wearing sunglasses and my hat turned backwards on. In second year, when I, <laughs> when I had to tell Mr. Murray my password in computers for something, and my password was Cheesy Shona, <laughs> and I had to tell him in front of his whole class. It was very embarrassing. What's the fourth year film? <laughs> they, were they were fun, but embarrassing. But embarrassing. Yours is definitely probably worst. <laughs> she's in it, and she's playing volleyball with a handbag, and she's like... <laughs> I was able to play volleyball, I was told to Yeah, but you were wearing a handbag on it. Right, they can get them shorts too. Yeah. Probably would have people in this concert in red shorts. Yeah, mine was when I had to um, pick up Steph for the play and then. Yeah, no, I literally just picked her up, drop her, fell back in front of all the second years, all the six years. Yes, that was fun. That was. Uh, yeah, it was a last <laughs> yeah. You're in PE and you're doing the tire swing and I fell out of the foot. <laughs> I was coming over and then they grabbed the no, tire and they were me and they went, you're me! No, I got the tire swing out and I hang it on and next thing I just went flat and over and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, during World Work after school, got painted my trousers, had to stand in the bathroom, take off my trousers and wash them in the sink and then dry them with the hand dryer. My most embarrassing moment was it was a really, really wet day and me, Saoirse and Maeve were outside near the first bin where we always used to stay and I think, I can't remember if it was Maeve or Saoirse that was running after me and they ran up the hill back down and I was running down and I slipped and fell and I went shooting down the hill and I was covered in mud and everyone, all everyone was laughing at me, it was so embarrassing. We also probably shouldn't have asked Mr. Murray was he in oh, um, War of the Buttons because me and Rebecca used to be convinced that he was the main character Fergus in War of the Buttons and we asked him and, and he, he said no. no and we were kind of embarrassed over that. Oh, I don't Oh, getting my eyebrow shaved off and walking into Oh, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah my, my eyebrow incident as well wasn't that great. During the eyebrow year. The eyebrow year. The year of the eyebrows. In Miss Hammering's class, Cahill was on the floor and Miss Hammering had asked if Aaron pushed him on the floor. He said no. Then she asked how to get on the floor and he said I pushed him. <laughs> <laughs> I have more facial hair. Lots, lots more facial hair. There are abundance of more facial hair. That's why. I've obviously gotten more beautiful. Got taller. Gotten taller. I've gotten good taller. I've well, taller. I would say I've grew taller, but I don't think I have. I've got taller. <laughs> Older. Yeah. I reckon I'm a slightly taller than so first year. <laughs> <laughs> slightly, not much though. Yeah, I definitely haven't grown much since first year. I'm a bit of a I'm less ginger. Yeah. Uh, I guess what well, I'm less ginger. Um, You're more ginger. I'm less. 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 I'm
Vertical skill, vertical skill, so. Yeah, I, I, helped, I helped in that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have become, you've like, come out of your shell a lot more and you say what you think a lot, which is good. Which is good. <laughs> I grew brain. Um, yeah, it used to be a right little thing in the first year, but now I think that I've actually... You lost your own yeah, highlights. I've lost my highlights and spikes. And your spike hair. Some of them have grown in height, but yeah, definitely grew a brain along the way. It's matured. I learned. Yeah, definitely. 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 Yeah, you know, when you're younger, it's kind of like, I only have one best friend. But now, you know, I even in six, <laughs> even in six year, like the whole year has come together. I think, which is really good. So I've become funnier, great, <laughs> just more brilliant, more yeah. awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I was fantastic already. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I can't even comprehend it's how. Good. I'm just amazing at it, and it's yeah. All I can really say. I'm gonna feel happy and I'm gonna feel intoxicated. Happy, happy. Really good. Probably a bit emotional. Yeah. But tears of happiness. I can feel, feel good, yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah, happy, like, to have it over with. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy, I'd say. Yeah, We'd be delighted. We're absolutely delighted. Um, a sad thing to have exams like next week. I'll be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to do my exams. Probably happy. It's probably yeah, it's gonna be such an next year I think. It'll be probably. exciting to know. It will be something different to do next year. We're leaving this place. Woohoo! Yeah, a bit a bit of both probably, but so yeah, it'll be happy enough. I think it would be good for me if it's sad for everyone. <laughs> I think I will be emotional leaving because it's like it's like a home away from home. Yeah. You know? But it's not very far away from home. No, but it's more like a semi detached by yeah. the sea. Exactly. You know? Yeah. More you guys. Euphoria, my friend. Euphoria. Mixed with slight regret. Tinged with nausea? It's really exciting to be finishing, but like oh, next yeah. year I think is when I'm gonna realise that actually I'm never gonna see all these people every day. Yeah, it's gonna be really sad. Fun. I think there's gonna be a whole connection with us all. Even though sometimes we don't get along, there's gonna be a, like a massive like connection and we're just gonna like bond properly. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> I have to think about your lives now because it's been my life for the last six years, maybe seven. And I'll be missing all the teachers and all the friends who I might not be able to see again for the next 13 years or however much because I started going to England, going to America, going to Dublin, going to Cork and I might not always see them every week. I think I'll cry. I'm sad. I'm sad to go. I'm sad to see them. I'm sad to see them. I've heard it's really, really sad, which it will be. But just like singing all together, you know, the songs are just really amazing. I'm actually going to cry right now. <laughs> like I can't wait, to, like I can't wait to go, and I can't believe that we're finishing now. But it's, and it's really it's scary. But I think that it's three weeks away, and we'll never, ever, ever see the class here again. It's the end of the chapter. But you know, <laughs> whatever we do in life, wherever we go, we'll always be a part of this big chapter. Is that the theme? Obviously, triple maths on a Thursday I'll probably miss. Definitely. I'm going to miss Mr. O'Connor. I love him. I miss the people because they've... I miss them because they've realised. I, I, I miss how much they've enjoyed being with me. Yeah. Looking like looking right over the sea all the time. Being in 
charge. So you know when you're in sixth year, you're in charge and everything, you rule the roof and then next thing, so that we've got them to pack again. Like first years. Yeah. Uh, I think just lunchtime, like just knowing everyone, knowing where to go, not feeling lost, like kind of having a personal relationship with everyone. The little tight knit community that we have, I suppose. Friends, security, uh, the relationship, like the close relationship they have with teachers and stuff. Not really gonna have that anymore. See you, everybody. I wish well. Yeah. I miss my friends. Um, yeah, I miss my friends. <laughs> These people. Yeah, yeah. 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 All, my, all my friends and like just going in school and knowing exactly that your friends are all going to be there so you don't have to that day your friends are all going to be there. You know exactly where you're going to be because you're going to be. Yeah, yeah. 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 People and everyone I know. What am I going to miss? I'm, uh, I don't know, the people. Most of them and everything else. Have you going to go off to different countries and get lives? You know, coming in school every day, no matter how much in, how much of a bad mood you're in, one of these people is going to make you smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You kind of someone's going to do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. someone's going to yeah. have some other story that just distracts you from it. Mm -hmm. So knowing what's around the corner, I suppose, there's absolutely no idea what's coming. Yeah, that's scary.